Hello everyone, my name is Matt and today I will be providing a more in-depth look at how to submit point location tickets online using the One Call Access program. A point location is a term used to describe an excavation area that is taking place at a single point. Common point locations include installing a pole, signpost, or collecting soil samples. This video will only be covering how to map and describe specific types of locations on your tickets. Due to this, we will be skipping over some portions of the One Call Access program. We have a video on our page that provides a more comprehensive look at the One Call Access program. If you would like more information about how to use the program to create and manage your tickets, we recommend watching that video first. I'll include a link to that video in the video description below. So as I mentioned earlier, this video will cover point locations. So let's go ahead and jump into our first example. Now before we do anything, we're going to need to pull up the work area on the map so we can draw out our proposed dig site. In the search type field, we can choose to look up our area on the map with a nearby address, intersection, or GPS coordinate. The information we list in these fields is only being used to search for the area on the map and will not be listed as the dig site location on the ticket. In this example, I'm replacing a pole on the side of the road, so I'll select intersection. I'll enter the street names and city and then click search. The pole I am replacing is on 8th Avenue, 200 feet north of Balboa Street. I'll grab the ruler tool and measure out the distance on the map. Now I have the option of drawing a circle or a polygon around the pole. In this case, I'm going to draw a circle around the pole location. Now that my dig site is drawn out on the map, we will move on to describe our location on the ticket. The information we include in the Confirm Dig Site section will be included on the ticket, so we need to make sure that it accurately describes the location of our dig site. I'll replace the auto-generated address with 8th Avenue here, since that's the street I am working on. The city looks good. Now I'm going to add Balboa Street in this field, since that is the street I am measuring my distance from. In the Additional Details field, I will provide a written description of where my work will be taking place. Since our work is taking place on the side of a street, we will also need to include what side of the street we will be working on. I'll write that the work is on the east side of 8th Avenue at a point 200 feet north of Balboa Street. And there we go. Now we've mapped out and described our single point location on 8th Avenue. Let's say that the street I'm working on doesn't run in a straight line, but instead turns in different directions as I head down the road. We will still look up the intersection on the map using the intersection search type. I'll enter in the two streets I am looking for, as well as the city, and click search. In this example, I'm replacing a section of the street in the center of the road. As I measure out the distance with the ruler tool, I know that my work area is a total distance of 1,000 feet from Burnett Avenue on Twin Peaks Boulevard. Now that my ruler reads 1,000 feet, I know I'm in the right area, so I'll grab my polygon tool and map out the location of the worksite. In the next step, I'll need to confirm the correct street information is listed in the corresponding fields. I'll add the street I am working on here. Confirm the city is correct and add the cross street here. Then I'll go ahead and click next and we'll write out my location description in the additional details field. Since work is taking place on the road, I'll need to include the side that we are working on. In this case, I'm working right in the center of Twin Peaks Boulevard, so I'll start off with center of Twin Peaks Boulevard. Now we need to include the distance and direction that the location is from the cross street. Since the road curves, we can write the general direction that the road heads in from our cross street. Looks like that's generally in the southeast direction. 
So I'll add at a point 1,000 feet southeast of Burnett Avenue. And now we're ready to submit the ticket. In this next example, my work is taking place at a point away from the road inside a property area. I'm going to look up the nearest intersection on the map by using the intersection search type. Now I will use the ruler tool to measure how far along Mohawk Street we have to go and then how far away from Mohawk Street into the property we have to go to get to the location. Then I will use the circle tool to draw out my dig site on the map. Now let's add the streets we use to measure our distance in the confirmed dig site field. Then we will describe the location in the additional details field. Locators will need to travel 200 feet north on Mohawk Street from Terra Avenue and then go 50 feet east from Mohawk Street into the property. So I'm going to write at a point 200 feet north of Terra Avenue following Mohawk Street and 50 feet east of Mohawk Street. You can also describe the same location using as the crow flies directions. Just write at a point 200 feet north and 50 feet east of the intersection of Terra Avenue and Mohawk Street. It's important to remember that this description will communicate that you have to go 200 feet true north and 50 feet true east as the crow would fly to access the location. For this next example, I'm going to need to grab a soil sample in a wide open field away from an intersection. I can look up the intersection on the map and measure a distance to the point I'm working, but since there isn't much of anything by my work area, I'm going to take advantage of looking up a GPS coordinate. I'll select the XY option in the search type, and then enter in the decimal degree format coordinates to my work site in these fields. As you can see on the map, my location is in the middle of nowhere. So looking up the location with the GPS coordinate was really helpful. We can go ahead and use the circle tool or the polygon tool to map out the location, but since we will still need to describe the location with the distance and direction from an intersection, I'm going to use the ruler tool and measure a distance from this point to the closest intersection on the map. As I move around the map, I can see an intersection over here, and it looks like the point is 3,800 feet away from this intersection as the crow flies. Also, I can see that the work site is southwest of the intersection. I'm going to go ahead and keep a note of that for the next portion of the ticket. In the next step, I will include the street names of the intersection that I measured my distance to. Then in the additional details field, I will write out the distance and direction from that intersection to the work site at a point 3,800 feet southwest of the intersection of South Buffalo Drive and Star Avenue. Let's also make sure to include the GPS coordinate to help locators find the exact area on the map. Now these directions describe how to find the location on a map and don't necessarily provide useful information on how to access the dig site location. Since locators will most likely need more information about how to get there, I will include a note to contact me for directions to the site. And with that final note, we're ready to submit the ticket. If your point location is at an intersection, first pull up the intersection on the map by using the intersection search type. Let's say that I'm working on the northeast corner of this intersection. I will grab the polygon tool and draw out the area on the northeast corner of the intersection. Then I'll click next and confirm the correct streets are listed in the confirm dig site section. 
In the additional details field, we will need to write out what part of the intersection our point is on. I'll write northeast corner of intersection of Terra Avenue and Mohawk Street. If at any time you need to include a specific radius at any of your point locations, make sure to specify that information in the additional details field. For instance, if I needed a 10 foot radius at my point, I would add include 10 foot radius. You will also need to make sure that your requested radius is included in your dig site polygon on the map. And that's it. We're all finished with that one and just need to agree to the disclaimers and then submit the ticket. There might be cases where you have more than one point location within the same area that you're working on. Within the one call access system, you can actually submit multiple point locations on the same ticket. You'll need to make sure that these point locations are no greater than a half mile away from each other and that the distance from your first point location and your last point location are no more than a half mile. If your multiple points are along a freeway with on and off ramps, railroad track, waterways, utility pole corridors, or pipeline right of ways in rural areas, you can have a max distance of two miles from your first point to your last point on that ticket. I'll look up the street I'm working on and the nearest cross street on the map using the intersection search type. Now that I have the intersection on the map, I know that my first point is 100 feet north of Terra Avenue. So I'll use the ruler tool to measure from the intersection to my first point. For this ticket, I have three locations in total. Each location is 50 feet away from each other. So I'll measure an additional 50 feet to my second location and then another 50 feet to my third location. At this time, I will have to map out each location inside one polygon. In the future, you will be able to draw out multiple separate polygons to more accurately highlight the areas of your work. But for now, we will need to map out each area with the same polygon. I will grab the polygon tool and draw around each location until they are all covered. Next, we will confirm the correct streets are entered into the street and nearest cross street fields, confirm the city, and then click next. Then I will write out the dig site location in the additional details field. Just like a point location on a street, we will describe how to get to our first point by writing a distance and direction from our cross street following along Mohawk Street. Now remember, we also need to include what side of the street the work will be on since we're working along the road. I'll go ahead and write east side of Mohawk Street at a point 100 feet north of Terra Avenue. Then we will need to label our next locations with a distance and direction from the previous location. I'll write it like this. Location two is 50 feet north of location one and then write location three is 50 feet north of location two. And now we're ready to submit the ticket with our three point locations. If you have any additional questions or concerns about point locations, please contact our web operations department at web operations at usan.org.